For each program, there are 32 auto switches available for programming. Auto switches must first be defined and then used in the program before they will appear on the main screen for activation. A auto switch can be a maintained switch or a momentary switch. A maintained switch, once it is touched, it stays on until it's touched again, or a maintained switch can be turned on by touching and be turned off in the program at the appropriate time. Maintained switches can also be turned on from the program. A momentary switch, a key, is a switch that only stays on while it is held. Once it is released, the switch turns off. A momentary switch can be latched in the program that once it is touched, it is considered on for that one cycle. To define an auto switch, select the Edit tab, select Setup, and from the drop-down Variables and Collections, select Auto Switches. Any auto switches already defined and used in the program will appear on this list. To add an additional auto switch, select the new auto switch tab. Here you can name the auto switch, select enter to insert it. You also must select whether the switch will be momentary, a key, or whether it will be maintained by selecting the radio button for switch. Once the auto switch is defined, select OK. Close the auto switch box out and go back to text. Here, under the logic page, you can tie an auto switch to a wait function. All auto switches for any logic functions will be listed under equipment. Essentially, you can say wait for the type of equipment, select the auto switch. From the auto switch list, select which auto switch you want to wait for and select what state you are waiting for it to be in. An auto switch can also be latched. Under the calls, once again, auto switches will be found under the equipment list. Select the appropriate subroutine that you are calling and attaching the auto switch to and what state the call will be activated if the auto switch is on or off. Once again, the auto switch, if it was a momentary auto switch, can be latched here. If, once again, you can select your auto switches from the equipment, select the auto switches, select the appropriate auto switch, the appropriate state. Once an auto switch is defined, it can also be turned on and off under the more selections. Once auto switches are defined, a auto switch tab will appear and the auto switches available for turning on or off will appear here. Select the auto switch and select the state inserted into the program.